explain to me what is going on over here? What am I seeing? So here we're doing a bit of play labs here. So for Hackstar, we like to bring like a mixture of mixed reality and virtual reality. For those who don't know what is mixed reality, that means there's, oh, it's a headset which recognizes space in real time. So it remembers this room. So, oh, this is a room, so I can put it like a tracker device. So the looking glass, it projects a holographic projection. So it's all connected up to the laptop. So any 3D models you put in will appear as a quite holographic and has a good depth. So you can actually try walk around it. Yeah. And we're also running with a Kinect camera, which the Kinect, it scans people's bodies, like the bone skeletons, and have a mesh layer over, so you see the color of the person. So if That's you, it feels crazy. Like a mirror. So it's like a mirror, but it's a holographic mirror. What is the, one of the benefits of using like the sub pack for, for, for virtual reality? So it helps build the realistic. And the cool thing about sub pack because we used it on Beat Saber as we work in doing a research project with them, with a guy named Yaroslav Beck, who made the game, but we also doing partners with Wave Death Rave Society. Mm -hmm. So people with death with perception, because they can't hear the music properly. So what the sub pack does, it helps them to feel the music. So you can have them compete against gamers. That's really cool. I really like that. What's your favorite device that you've got going on over here? Well, uh, it's hard to choose, but I prefer the VR, Microsoft VR headset, because you can do masterpiece VR, so you can actually sculpt work, do some 3D modeling in virtual reality, so you can do sculpting, painting. So you can be actually sculpting and painting inside the virtual reality? Yes, and you can export it to a different file format so you can pass it to the person so you can make a film from it. It's like... Technology is crazy! Blowing my mind! I'm with Luciana Hale of Digital LSD. Can you talk me through the experience we're seeing behind us right now? Yeah, so we've got a Pandora star which is a stroboscopic light and I'm showing the participant many frequencies which allow them to make their own visuals in the back of their brain in the occipital region. Um, they may see entoptic patterns, they may see uh, whole narratives. It's really quite surreal and I find it a really useful tool for people to like adjust their creativity, to refresh their mind state and right now just to encounter something really unexpected. We've got the Windows Mixed Reality set up here. What has been the game that you've been playing? Okay, so the game I've been playing is Beat Saber, mostly, which is like a music game where you hit the blocks and you have to follow the arrows. Have you played any of the other games? Can you talk me through what they look like? Uh, yeah, there's a, so many different games, ranges from horror games to shooting games. Uh, I've played all, well, I've played horror games so far, which is called uh, face your fears where you basically get put in a room with your worst fears so like spiders or snakes or in the dark or clowns anything and then you have to try and face them and some of them are actually pretty creepy there's one where you have to stand on a top of building and it's heights so you're looking down you can see like the whole New York City kind of thing and it's very scary that one's the one I freak out most. The one being put in a room full of spiders? Like, no, no they thank you. They crawl around you and they actually jump on you and they start crawling around your body so you're there trying to not, you can't move and you're just there trying to, yeah. It, some people have actually jumped from their seats and I've seen few people actually run away even though they still have the headset on and pull the wires. 